All right, so let's see what we got here. So soft foam. Okay, and so the engine does come in pieces. So we've got the wheel here all by itself. And it's quite heavy actually. And we can kind of see the crankshaft, I guess, sort of type of design here on the flywheel connected to it. So the craftsmanship does look pretty nice. So let's see more foam. And we'll go ahead and pull out the whole engine and there's more foam underneath. All right, and this is what it looks like. It's actually a bit smaller than I thought it was gonna be. So this should be pretty simple and quite intuitive. We just have these pistons here and they have to connect to the crankshaft. And the crankshaft has sharp edges on both ends that kind of go into the brackets here that hold it. So let's go ahead and put that in there. So you just spread these two apart a bit and it goes in and it grabs it and it doesn't move around. All right, well, that's an interesting way of uh, <laughs> connecting this kind of wheel but it seems to spin very well. Look at that. It doesn't even have much resistance like you would think. Wow, that's an interesting design there. All right, so now we just need to connect two of our pistons and they're gonna connect to the inner part there. I don't know, hopefully you guys can see, but not to the main shaft here, but the other small one. It should just clip right on. Sure enough, it does. So you just push it on there, so press clips over. Same thing on this side. And just like that. All right, so everything seems to be connected and moving and working. We can see the bottom piece here moving up and down as we spin it. Very interesting. All right, guys, so instead of a cup, I'm using kind of like a little bowl here that's made out of glass so we can see the water. And I got boiling water, so let's go ahead and pour that in there. And so I think all we got to do now is just set the engine on top of that. It seems to fit pretty good here. And we should be able to just spin this up and it should start running. So let's go ahead and try. I'm not sure which direction. It... Okay, so it's this way. There it goes. So I just gave it a little push and there it goes. Wow, that's pretty amazing. That didn't take much effort at all. And it seems to be speeding up faster and faster here with the uh, water being, I guess, at boiling temperature. It's quite hot. And it seems to be definitely, you know, liking that. So, so this is not going to hit any, you know, really fast speeds. It's kind of like a low RPM engine. It is turning and let's see if we can change the angle here a little bit. So you guys can see maybe the piston on this side. So the rod on that side lifts and lowers the bottom portion, the bottom part. And then on this side, we got this little glass piston here that goes up and down. So somehow in there, the hot air and the cold air from the top are exchanging and causing, you know, the motion to continue. So it's a really neat design and quite intriguing, especially this being a mechanical engine. So anybody, you know, that's into this kind of things will really enjoy this kind of engine here. Let's go ahead and pull this off of the uh, bull here and see how long it'll stay running i'm guessing it's not going to be too long but let's see yeah it's slowing down pretty quick so yeah. so yeah just a few seconds here after mostly a lot of inertia here probably on this flywheel there we go a couple more maybe yeah so yeah it does take a little while to unwind but it does stop eventually let's put it back on the hot water and it should quite immediately start back up let's see i went the wrong way again i guess there we go and there it goes 